Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. Some Doremi action coming at you. We're gonna try to finish Fire Peak World today, I believe. But first, lore. Oh, wow, the stars. Are you, are you Merlin? You betcha. He's gonna play us a tune. Look at those eyebrows. Huh. You can't play tune without an instrument, you big dummy. But he's gonna pray for us. Thoughts and prayers. We all know how much that does. Here we go. What you can do for this video is you can like it. You can subscribe to this channel. Smash that bell or whatever people say. And this is the level before the boss, so. Not feeling super confident. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, those guys are new. Not super sure how to feel about this one. This might be a shorter episode again. <laughs> These guys are very creepy looking. All right. Lots of fiery obstacles here. What even are these supposed to be? Like, I know that a lot of this is probably like Japanese folklore, as I set Magenta's hair on fire. Um, but yeah, I just don't. <laughs> I don't get it. Is this a switch? Whoa, we've done something. We're very concerned about it. Oh no, no! We're very toasty. Something I learned the other day, seeing that made me think of s'mores, is that s'mores apparently aren't a thing that people eat outside the United States. Which I find very interesting. I mean, that shouldn't come as a, oh, that shouldn't come as a surprise, because there are plenty of foods that are not consumed in the United States. I'm just playing like crap right now. They look like Bomberman. No! Okay. <laughs> But yeah, of all the things not to have, how could you not have s'mores? I say that though, I don't... I'm not really a big s'mores guy, I shouldn't say that. I'm trying to sound all incredulous, like, I can't believe you don't have s'mores! But, not really a big s'mores boy. Alright. Did that switch stay triggered? Did that snowflake switch stay triggered? Let's go find out. Nope. It did. Okay, so coming over here was a waste. That's okay. Woo! I'm gonna need you to cool it. <laughs> See what I did? Alright, so this wants me to go down. This looks very ominous. All we're trying to do here is finish this level and probably just gonna do the boss today. We'll save the anything related to the next world. Oh my gosh. If I can make it there. What is this thing supposed to be? Some sort of a squirrel? For the preceding episode. I'm trying to just get some work done. How about you how about you stop? You fiery squirrel. Alright. Oh, alright. So we're up here now. Start from the bottom, but now we're here. Should we keep spamming the bubble button? This world's actually been kind of fun. I don't have any hard feelings for it. I didn't really care for the ice world very much, but this one's been pretty good. I don't know. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's a... That's a... An obstacle. I feel like we maybe need to... Ooh, there we go. I think we probably have to go down here, actually, somewhere. Unless this is death. Nope. This just loops around. It's gotta be another switch then, right? Maybe on the other side? I did not explore the left side as much. Felt a little explosive to me. Get out of here. There it is. Who knew that this game was so adventurous? Yeah, that'll open that up. I do need to be careful though because I have no pants and I am... Ooh, there's a key too. Man, I really needed to come over here. I was gonna ignore it. The game's like, mm mm. Gotta oh, watch out. Oh! I should probably be dead right now. You go speedy quick on some of these little spots. You're normally pretty safe. Alright, feel free not to blow me up. We can shoot bubbles through the fire, through the fire and the flames. Oh! You know what? Poop and crap on that. I don't vibe with that at all. I'm 
just wondering how long it's gonna take me to beat off this boss after I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and- oh. Did it save my- oh, maybe it saved my progress. That would be excellent. I'm just gonna assume that it did. You don't assume it does. Oh, nope, it didn't. Alright, so it gave me the key, which is weird. So, keys are fine, but switches are not- Oh, they're little volcano- oh, I love that. They're little volcanoes. Okay, so switches are fine. Now, keys, for some reason, um, persist for some, in some variety? I don't know how that's possible, but, oh, why don't you just let me land on the tip? Just the tip. Whoop. All right, and it was this way, I think? Ah, these are buttholes. Those fire bee holes like me after a spicy taco. No. Okay. Well, at least the level is very considerate in providing you with double pants right away. I do like that. Get out of my. Mm. I don't have time for this. I'm a man on a mission. Spam the bubbles. There's the switch number two. This is the switch pro. The OLED switch. Which is funny, I almost bought one. But then I thought to myself, man, that'd be a waste of money because I already have one. And I don't have that much disposable oh no. That much disposable income to be blowing it on things I already own. Let's keep this guy bubbled as long as we can. Let's have a little self-preservation while uh, our feet are held to the fire here. It's like just enough to to set Merlin aflame here. Why don't you do it? I almost jumped into the fire, which would have been incredible. Incredibly stupid, almost did there too. Oh my goodness. And yeah, this level. These levels in this fire world, they don't mess around. They're they're pretty pretty challenging. I'll give them credit as I blow bubbles to distract myself from the horrors of what I'm trying to do. Oh, gotta hurry. Okay. Ooh, I don't want to have to do this again. So I'm just taking my time, Mr. Volcano Man. Please be pants in this. Please. There's one thing you've done for me, game. Does this key lead me to the boss? At least I have to go get the key again. I think this might be the end of the level. Yes. Okay. So do I do one more, or is this... Is it boss time? Or do I just unlock the second part of the... Oh, it's boss time. Oh, it's like the sun thing from, uh... Kirby! But like, oh, but Barfy. <laughs> what on earth is happening? It's a Barfy Kirby son with boxing gloves. Okay. Oh, he's so Barfy. So Barfy. Okay, so you can't you can't dodge that. You can't dodge the. The Barfy Boxing Behemoth. Actually, I want to go into here real quick, because I can grab the double pants right away. And then bounce. Bounce, son! Alright. I think I can do this. How do I get out of levels? Is it just... Select. Okay, that'd be great. I don't have to do a whole lot of extra work like I did fighting the... Was it the snowman? That was miserable. Alright, you barfy jerk. Oh man, you really targeted me there. What? How are you supposed to dodge that? Oh, he's in a moon too. He's got a mustache! You can't trust a moon with a mustache. 
All right, this is absurd. This is why I'm only doing... This is why I'm only doing one level in this episode besides this, because this is going to be miserable. But getting double pants is very quick. Boom, and we're out. Quick double pants. Back to boss. Excellent, high quality gameplay. Oops. That's not the smartest thing I've ever done. You can't hit him like that. Oh, this is a new animation. Oh! Oh no, not like this. Can I shoot you? Are you doing that? Yeah. I don't like any of this. These bosses are so weird. No, okay. We're being attacked by... By the constellations. At least this boss isn't too bad. I don't... Was it the card magician? I hated that one. Did not... Did not enjoy. Yeah, this is one of those bosses where you have to have double pants. You're not getting out of this. Pantsless. No way. Go, you big spicy jerk. Barf it up. That's so weird. Why do I think that was a good idea? I like this animation, though, because this is a little bit easier to dodge. All right. Come at me, bro. I think he does it a third time. Oh, whatever. Does not give you a lot of time to move. Oh, he's gonna shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, really tough to dodge. All right, Barfy Sun again. Why? Like, who came up with this? What does it even mean? All right, the mustache moon. Oh, I didn't get him that time. It did not give me any credit. This is horrible, though. Oh, the stars. How are you supposed to know? Oh, this is horrible. Oh, there's two rounds of it? That's BS. Okay. Well, at least getting back into the game is relatively quick. They just... They spot you right where you... You left off. And the game overs aren't too painful, thankfully. Oh, those bosses, though. But anyway, we're back to double pants again. We're gonna keep at it. We're gonna get him. We are going to extinguish the sun. Taking an early hit, not the smartest thing I've done. I think if it does this animation, I'm in better shape. Oop, don't wanna do that. ABD, always be ducking. Here we go. No. Ah, that's garbage. Trash, you might say. Oh. <laughs> Woo! This is brutal. I'm trying to avoid having to cut away, but this boss is a toughie. I mean, it should be. I think this is like the one world before the final world, maybe? This is not the final boss, I don't think. The final boss was that weird gargoyle. Ah, Gotta be quicker to that. One of the things I wish they would let you do in these fights is heal. Give you some sort of a healing item. Oh, you know what, game? I don't have time for this. That should have hit him. Oh, I got clipped by his bottom. We'll give it... Oop, I started the fight with nothing. <laughs> okay, oh, I didn't get any more pants. That was my mistake. Oh. Oh, great. We'll just, uh... 
Yeah. Perfect. All right. I lost my muscle memory. I didn't grab my pants. Story of my life. You gotta grab your pants. You gotta start everything one leg at a time, viewers. That's a metaphor for life. Okay. There. Surprisingly, that doesn't clip you, but like some of the other animations do. I don't quite understand that. No, not this one. That seems to be pretty effective. Switch to the moon. Okay, so the sun doesn't hit you, but that hits you? What kind of BS is that? Oh, two hits. Great. This will probably be my last try before I just cut away. Oh, boy. I'd like to get this done sometime today. Oh, I almost made it. All right, viewers, I will see you when we wrap this up. And there you have it, viewers. We have defeated the sun and moon. The rest of the world will be in calamity for the rest of our days. All right, it's Professor Oak who has lost his dentures. Ah, you've done it. We were very selfish, of course. Now a secret. Put 777 in the password window now. What password window? What are you talking about? But that's stage six done, guys. We did it. Woo! Hooray! And I believe Toy Town. This might be the final world. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Like this video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. Throw on a comment if you'd like. And I'll catch you next time for more Super Nintendo Sundays. Do re me. Bye.